Dr. Mark again, and I want to talk to you a little bit about formatting text. Now, if you'll take a look at my Safari window, you'll notice that we've got our Bill of Rights web page up, but it's changed a little bit. I've added three levels of headings, and then I've edited some text. Now let's go into Text Wrangler and look at the code. So the first thing that I did was I added the text, the Bill of Rights, and I set it at heading level one. Then at heading, heading level two, I put in from the U.S. Constitution. Then I went into all of the titles for amendments and set them to heading level three. And it looks like that. But then if you look closely in this paragraph, you'll notice things look a little different. For instance, Congress is bold. Let's have a look at that code. The tag for boldface is B. Again, it's a toggle tag. We must turn it on and we must turn it off. Now, another tag with a very similar effect is strong. So if we go back, there's religion. And I'd be hard pressed to explain to you the difference between bold, as in our Congress, and strong, as in religion. Now, we came down to the word free, and I made it big. Let's have a look at that. There's free. Notice it is somewhat larger than the rest of the text. Then abridging. Abridging and freedom of speech look to be italics. But the tags that I used were different. Let me move this up a bit. Notice abridging is in the italics tag I. So, so far we've seen B for bold, strong, big, and an I for italics. The freedom of speech is EM for emphasis. Now, if we go back to our page, notice the word press is underlined. And the way that we did that was we used the insert or INS tag. Any text that is inserted between insert on and insert off tags will be underlined. Now on my next line I show that the word people is deleted. It actually won't disappear. The word's there, but it has a visual treatment. Let's go looking for it. There it is. It's as if we struck through that word. Now don't worry, I'm not changing the Bill of Rights. We'll change our page back. Now, grievances is enclosed within quote tags, or excuse me, code tags. Code tags. And if we take a look at grievances here, notice it looks a little different. This is kind of, think of it as a font that we might use to show an example of source code. It looks different from the rest of the text. But I didn't stop there. Take a look at our Amendment 2 title. It has superscript. The 2 is higher than the word Amendment.
and SUP is the tag to use for superscripting. Now I'm going to go down in my code and show you Amendment 3. There I've used another tag sub for subscripting. And there it is. The 3 appears just slightly lower than the word amendment. So we have superscripting and subscripting. Now, notice also that Amendment 3 is looks a little different because it's got bigger margins on the left and right. We accomplish that using the block quote tag. Now, I've got a couple more tags to show you up on Amendment 2. And that is this pre tag, pre on, pre off. Stands for pre formatted. Now, notice what I've done here. I've put extra spaces between the words A and well, and between well and regulated. I then inserted a couple of lines of white space. Normally, those extra spaces and extra lines would be ignored, but when we look at Amendment 2, they aren't. There we have our spaces and our extra lines and indentation for the second line. So, that's all I'm going to share with you for now on formatting text. There's plenty in the tutorial to take a look at yet, but we've covered the most important ones. Don't worry, I'm going to change my Bill of Rights back right away.